Hey there, cats and kittens, I've got a little cup battle for you today! Um, my opponent is Axel Crimson, who I met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Uh, keep in mind this is his first little cup battle ever, and also he actually went out of his way to accommodate me with his battle. He said that he used only really three abilities, and I asked him, could you, rather, could you not, if it's all the same to you? And he was like, yeah, that's fine. And so, I lead off with my, uh, Sandshrew, he leads off with his Onyx, this is a very favorable matchup for me because, uh, I could just both have set up Rocks version, then I could spin them away, or I could just take him out with a few Earthquakes. Um, he actually went for Dragon Tail first, and I was like, how is my Sandshrew outspeeding him? But it's because he went for Dragon Tail. Uh, really strange move, uh, considering that most Pokemon that would be swapped out would actually be better at taking out Onyx, but, oh well, it works, it works for me. Um, so I've got Rocks up, he's got Rocks up, his Onyx is dead. Uh, I'm just decided to stay in. Uh, Edgar Rice is actually a good, not check, but a good wall for Mindfu. Uh, and here I am able to scout his set and see that he's probably Scarf because he went for the high jump kick and not the fake out first turn. And indeed, it appears that he is Scarfed. Um, so here he's going to have to withdraw Mindfu. Uh, pretty good prediction on my end going out into my enemy. Uh, this was kind of strange. I mean, I was thinking about going for the acrobatics, but I figured he'd probably switch out into a rock type, and then I'd have to switch out. So I go for a hidden power fighting. Um, it's like he predicted that, but I don't think there's really a way he could have predicted that. Uh, Shadow Ball, not a move I was expecting. Really not. I was actually really surprised. I guess I, I was thinking he was going to go for, um, whatchamacallit, Sucker Punch, and Emily did not want to make a Sucker Punch. So anyway, I go for the Earthquake, take out his program, and so that's awesome. That's one huge threat down. Mind Fu is back out. Uh, it's just going to U-turn out, thinking that I'm gonna, just going to go out into Emily. He gets a crit, and that's going to kill Edgar Rice, and that crit totally mattered, uh, because Edgar Rice is so damn physically bulky, but, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. So, uh, now he goes out into his nose pass, which is level one, I'm thinking, ooh, that's going to be annoying. But he's got leftovers, so I'm thinking, what the hell is this set? So I go out into Lilu, my, um, my shiny Lilith, thinking, well... I don't really think there's too much he can do against me, and if he's at some kind of uh, sand endeavor team, it's not really going to work out too well. He has magic coat. I think he thought maybe that was supposed to be mirror coat, um, but at level one, I mean, as I recall, mirror coat doesn't do percentage of health, it does actual damage dealt, so you wouldn't want a level one Pokemon with mirror coat. Um, but oh well, I'm not exactly sure what his deal was. But uh, I, he's basically getting to scout out my entire uh, set. So he sees that I have Earth Power. He sees that I have... I, I went for Earth Power rather than Giga Drain in case he decides to switch out Ponyta. Um, or, I guess, Dano. But, and then I went for the Ancient Power because if your opponent's at 1 HP, why the hell not? So now out is going to come Mind Fu again. I'm thinking, okay, there's a chance he's going to go for the High Jump Kick. I hope he doesn't go for the Stone Edge. So I decided to be risky. Go out into Emily and... Here, this is like excellent. And here, uh, uh, during the battle, I was like, why would he go for another high jump kick? And then I realized, oh, it's so he get a free switch into someone else without me getting off an acrobatics and unburdening myself. So that was actually a really great move because if I'd gotten off unburden, I would be outspeeding Dano here. This is a scarf Dano. I actually hadn't seen Dano in a while, so I wasn't sure what he was doing. So uh, I foolishly sacked Emily. That was really too bad. But now I know he's locked into Crunch, so I figure uh, great opportunity to set up with IBM, my Ponyard. Um, so that is 100% fine. Uh, he does get the defense drop, but... It really shouldn't matter because Ponyard's main attacking move is Suck a Punch. Um, and I resist Crunch, so it's not really a big deal. So he goes out into Ponyta here. Uh, as I just go for the Brick Break, trying to take out his Dano. Um, Brick Break is not quite going to take out Ponyta, and he gets a Flame Body activation, uh, which sucks. It majorly sucks, but you know what? His health is down low enough, and I have a plus two, so Sucker Punch will easily be able to take out his Ponyta. Not really a problem. And now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is Dano. Um, and I was thinking, well, just in case... He's got to lock himself into something. I'm just going to let him... Let's see what he locks himself into. And if it's not Fire Fang, or if he misses his Fire Fang, I'll take him out with a Brick Break. Uh, but here, this is a great opportunity to show off um, a new move that I put on this set for my Arcanine. This is now a Bandit Arcanine, and he has Outrage because he gets it through Tutor in uh, Gen 5, and or in Black and White 2, so that's awesome, and I get to win the battle on an Outrage. Great game, um, opponent Axel Crimson. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.